we're trying this new format again with uh, Batman Bad Blood. So I watched this one. It was the first one recommended to me on HBO Max. And I just figured, like, I ah, might as well watch it. So I did. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's it was actually a really good Batman movie and a really good Bat Family movie. Um, so quick synopsis is Batman uh, has gone missing. Bruce Wayne has gone missing. So basically Damien as Robin and Dick Grayson as Batman with a little bit of help from Katie Kane for um, Batwoman and Luke Fox as Batwing uh, trying to uncover what happened to him. He was abducted by a person named Heretic who was working with the League of Shadows for Nithereus Means. I'm not gonna go into a lot of spoilers in this because it was a really good movie, so I wanna make sure that you guys watch it. It's on HBO Max for free or pick it up at Target or something like that. But yeah, it was a very, very good movie. Um, <clears throat> <coughs> sorry, again, still getting over this cold. Have to say that Seeing Dick as Batman was probably one of my favorite things. Because uh, he even moved different than Bruce from the opening scenes that Bruce was in. He was more agile and stuff like that. He was still fighting like he was Nightwing even though he's in a Batman suit. Uh, we get some good character um, moments with Dick. On how he always felt that he was in Bruce's shadow. And when he finally made a name for himself... He gets pulled back into being um, in Bruce's shadow, for lack of a better term. Uh, Damien also gets good character moments of uh, fighting between being a Wayne and a Al Ghul. Um, and then we also get good... I mean, we get good moments with everybody. Um, I thought Kitty Kane was a good character as well. Um... I like the, that she kind of started being this violent vigilante at first of like using guns and trying to end uh, lives and everything like that and then they mentioned that she started using rubber bullets and basically they made her a better hero than a vigilante. And Luke Fox as Batwing was really cool too. I like how the Batwing suit's basically an Iron Man Batman suit, let's be honest. Uh, the villain's heretic with the twist was a very interesting villain, yet a little confusing. Um, the B-list rogues gallery that we had with the Mad Hatter and Firefly, Killer Moth, and some other guys I've never even heard of. That was pretty interesting. Uh, weird that they all got killed off, though. <laughs> Minor spoiler there, sorry. I mean, they weren't, like, really big into the movie, but, I mean, they they all get killed off, and it's kind of inter interesting. Um, Talia Al Ghul was really, really cool as well. Um, good villain, uh, as always, but she was a good villain in this as well. And just the story altogether. Like I said, I don't want to get deep into the story here because some story elements are really good plot twists that I don't want to uncover. Um, but all I'll say that's a semi-spoiler, Mad Hatter's death scene is insane also we get to see alfred be a little bit of a badass which is great and we also get to see how they cover for if bruce ever does go missing how they cover that or if bruce is busy or something like that how that gets covered but yeah so i'm gonna give this movie a 9 out of 10 it was very good um i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like comment subscribe ring that bell and follow me on all my social media down below it's that nerd ryan telling you have an amazing day